Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with Boating Tech Talk. We've got a question from a fellow boater. This boater is basically considering new batteries on his boat. He has currently a 22 and a half foot stabby craft full of electronics, helm master, heater, downriggers, transducers, electric drum for anchor, windlass, and he's got twin outboards uh, charging at about 50 amps each. Should I be looking at, what options should I be looking at for batteries? Well, this is a, you know, a common problem that we all face as boaters, right? So mind you, this boater has two outboards and what he's saying is, listen, I got lots of stuff. You know, what should I do for batteries? Should I consider Firefly batteries for this application? Remember, batteries are built for a purpose, including Firefly. Firefly batteries, for the most instances, are generally deployed to, for deep cycle applications. And deep cycle application are your house loads. House loads could be running electronics, anything that has nothing to do with starting the engine is basically what house loads are, right? Water pump, uh, refrigeration, uh, could be bilge pumps, could be electronics, could be a downrigger, or could be a windlass. Generally, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to say everything that is not related to starting the engine is house. So that's a good way to conceptually think about the division between a starter battery and a house battery. Everything related to the engine is on the starter. Everything, relate, everything that's not engine related is on the house battery. So when you're really choosing about putting batteries on a boat like this, I would probably divide and conquer and not put two similar batteries on board. I would probably end up putting a battery that is meant for starter applications on the starter. You know, maybe put that as battery one. It's, it's arbitrary, the, the number of the battery. It could be battery two, battery one. But let's say, you know, you start on battery one and make that battery a engine cranking battery. And then your battery number two, which is your house battery, I would make sure it's a deep cycle battery. Okay, so we've got a starter battery for the engine and we have a deep cycle battery for the house. The starter battery is, a, is basically a sprinter, right? And the deep cycle battery is a marathon runner. Both athletes, both top of their game, they're both doing a different type of activity, hence they're built differently. So that's a really good sort of way of thinking about it. So in this suggestion, I would be looking at my outboard and saying, okay, what is the marine cranking amps that the engine wants? And I want to make sure that the battery that I put on board meets the requirements from the manufacturer. Some manufacturers are going to say, I want a thousand marine cranking amps. I want 1300 marine cranking amps. Remember, there's different concept on cranking amps. There's marine cranking amps, there's cranking amps, CA, MCA is marine cranking amps, and there's CCA, which is cold cranking amps. That's generally more used for cars, because cars could start in colder environments, and so that means that you need more oomph to start an engine if it's really, really cold outside. So MCA, CCA, CA, but most applications on a boat should be MCA, marine cranking amps. So make sure you spec a battery that is sized to meet the requirements of your engine manufacturer. You don't want to ever undersize a battery for starting your engine. It could work, but you don't ever want to lose your starter because it's underpowered or under voltage, under load, right? So that's the reason why you follow the recommendations. Now, when it comes to your house battery, that's a little trickier and harder to figure out. You got to, there's multiple variables that decide how big the battery bank is going to be. That's harder and it's not something I can answer in a few minutes. And by the way, I've got full like one hour, let's geek out on how to size a battery bank. So if you want to geek out and you're curious, search on YouTube or go on our website. Uh, there's over 1300 web pages on our website where you can literally find articles on all this stuff and some of them go way down the rabbit hole. But for in this case, I would for a house look for a deep cycle battery. So flooded batteries can come in starter or deep cycle and AGM batteries as well. So maybe look for an AGM starter battery if you're going to go down the AGM route and then have an AGM deep cycle. But don't mix and match, have a flooded for let's say starter and then an AGM for house because the challenge is going to be putting in a battery charger that has two output leads, but you can only choose one battery type. You don't want to have a battery charger that you can only choose one battery type and say AGM and it charges an AGM battery and it charges a flooded battery because it's a compromise. And over time, that means that your batteries are not going to have as long a life as you would have hoped or expected. So whenever you're choosing batteries on your boat, try to stay with the same chemistry within lead acid. 
This doesn't apply to lithium. Lithium is a little bit different, right? You can have a lithium house battery bank and you can have an AGM starter battery. And that's very common. And that makes sense. But with lead acid batteries, if you're not going to lithium, make sure you do either flooded for starter and flooded for house or AGM for starter and AGM for house. And look for batteries that are the right requirements or specifications for the application. So that was a great question. Um, do your homework, educate, and then do. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.